Welcome, Hot Rod City residents. Uh, if you're not a resident, just go down and uh, <clears throat> click the subscribe button. And uh, if you feel like it, go ahead and like some videos. Check me out. Uh, I've been a little slack lately with videos, but hey, I'm trying to get better. But it's my business has been growing to the point where I haven't had a a free minute to even use the restroom. I'm just going out behind the shop. Don't even have time to go to the house. So I'm actively uh, sad today. I uh, I guess due to my ADD, I filled up the yard with cars in the driveway, and I haven't gotten to any of them in a, at least a month due to the fact of my business. <clears throat> of doing upholstery so and every time I do something oh you never hear anybody nobody does it anymore okay uh, I know a few people but anyway so I decided to start cleaning the yard out because my son's getting bigger and he needs more room to play and I'll just never get to any of these and anyway so I uh, may or may not have already shared with you not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago. I know it's been at least a couple weeks because I already got the title back in my name. I bought this uh, 64 Ford Falcon. I'm building that not only for my channel and for you guys, but also for my business. I want something to take to, take to the local things, the local cruises, the local meets, cars and coffees, things like that. And... Uh, excuse me, showcase my uh, interior abilities. Uh, I've had quite a few customers when I do the interiors in their classic cars, they don't want me to make their panels because they buy them and then I still have to recover them anyway. And I'm like, I can make this and cheaper than what you're buying it for. So anyway, <clears throat> back to this. I'm cleaning the yard out. And the first thing I thought I was willing to get rid of and uh, I mean, I got other two other cars I need to get rid of, but I gotta get, at least get all my parts off of it first. I'm not gonna scrap them with just with the stuff I need off of them. So, is this Ford Escort? Now, I know it's weird, but for some reason I've always been attached to these stupid coupe Ford Escorts. And this one is a five-speed. The only option I wish it had was power windows, but. It's uh, I don't have it's not real high mileage or anything like that. It's just uh, I bought lots of stuff for this. Uh, I bought those wheels that are on it. I bought a standalone ECU. I was gonna put a turbo on it. We we're gonna do autocross and drag racing and all kinds of fun stuff. So basically, make it. And I had planned to wrap it because I've never wrapped a car before, but and build a lot of interior stuff for it just as a daily driver. But I already have a daily driver. So there's really no sense in keeping this. I was going to keep it and just put it kind of stockish just to let my, uh, let my wife drive it when she gets a better job and has to commute a bit. But she's like, I don't like it, it's ugly. Whatever, you married me, didn't you? So, <clears throat> Anyways, scrap guy's coming to get this today. I'm keeping the wheels because they actually fit my actual daily driver, my Scion. So, and like, like I said, as you can tell, ever since I built my garage, this this yard is just full. Like, I'm thinking about getting rid of the little micro van here because I really don't use it since I got the skid steer now. But the Blazer, I'm not getting rid of. I got tons and tons and tons of stuff for that. The Grand National, that's part of my retirement. My Impala, I always wanted one. I got that one, and then it had issues, and I got all the parts to fix it. Back in the corner, you can't tell. There is a Subaru Brat, I think it's an 87. That is a very big project, because behind the other garage, way over there, there's a car trailer. Well, it's a trailer with a car on it. It's a rolled WRX. We're going to take all the guts out of that and put it in the brat. 
but this garage here is about to get remodeled and concrete and everything else here shortly because I need more room for upholstery. I said I was uh, apparently getting big here. So anyways, back to the, the lineup here. And my boat, that's my boat, it's getting ready to, uh, now that my son's getting older, I don't want to say older, he's three, but I want to start getting back into my boat and do the upholstery in it, and I'm going to take some canvas classes to do all the covers and stuff. There is the Ford Mustang. That's for parts, for all the brakes I'm robbing, the brake system I'm robbing off for the Falcon, the drivetrain and stuff is I'm getting robbed for the caterham I'm going to build. Next to that is a Camaro. That is just, I got a really good deal on it, and I already got a boatload of stuff for it. What's next to that? Uh, that's another Camaro. Oh, the blue Camaro, you guys recognize that. That's a, that's crap Camaro. <clears throat> and then the, what color is that? The tealish Camaro. That is my, uh, that'll probably be the actual car I actually end up doing, like autocross and stuff events. It's a T-top car, too. Uh, we got a VQ35 to go in that. Everybody knows the C60. And then in front of that is the the amateur touring cutlass which I'd like to get back to but like I said my business is coming kind of taking priority at the moment maybe uh, when I lose my full-time job when they shut it down in a couple years I can uh, I'd have a lot more time because I'm trying like to I'm trying to build a business up in the meantime sitting next to that is the v8 Subaru that is unfortunately I was playing with it and driving it a bit and working the kinks out and the motor started I think the motor started knocking it sounds like it's in the trans but I think it's just echoing in the trans because I think it's a rod knock but it's just a little 305 we might find another one so we're just letting it sit for now <coughs> and then next to that is the the lifted legacy uh, so you guys saw me build that in some old episodes. That's uh, It doesn't even run anymore for some reason. Uh, but we're going to keep the drivetrain and everything for the, as spares or backups for the Brat. Because it takes all the same motor and trans and keep the rear and keep some of the suspension and my wheels. Tires, I don't care so much, but the wheels. Sounds like my scrap guys here. And then I got cars out in the driveway, trucks. And then I got still got the International in the garage and Chevelle. Monte Carlo, got my Chevrolet. I got a Trans Am back there. I got my two company vehicles I'm working on now. Maybe a third, we're gonna see. Uh, if that one plays out, which I'm waiting to hear back, I've already agreed to a price for the guy. You guys are gonna come along for that episode. So, I figured I'd just give you an update. I haven't posted and I wanted to share how sad I was to get rid of such a crap car. But I don't, I don't know what it is about that. It's just certain cars I've been attracted to for weird reasons. And this one, I just like it. If it's comfy, it's simple but easy. I used to actually have one of these years back with an ex-girlfriend. She was extremely too fat to get in it. So I say that, but that's just being, me being mean. And I used to deliver pizzas in it as a second job. That might be why I'm fond of it. It makes me think of memories and all that jazz. So. But hey, uh, signing out. I just said I haven't done a video in a while. I know. I posted one two weeks ago, but before that it was a month. And I was like, man, I gotta do something. And given the fact my lack of actual video here, I figured I'd at least make something. So, later.